Welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S Definitive Edition on the Switch. And last episode we basically came to Gondolia. We came back to Gondolia and turns out that Jasper was here. And he had all of his forces from Heliodor lined up ready for me. So they've currently taken over the entire city and they're looking for me. And we've got to hide and make our way over to Eric who just got kidnapped. So they have Eric hostage and they're trying to draw us out. Which is not good. You gotta, you gotta be careful. So, actually, what I'm gonna do, think I'm gonna do is ch check and see. Can I zoom out of here? I wonder if I can. Oh, I can leave? I can just leave and gather my strength. Well, that's convenient. Sorry, Eric, I'm gonna have to take a little pit stop. I need better armor because I know a boss is coming up, and I need Serena to be strong enough to withstand any attacks that he gives her because she is a little bit helpless right now. Alright, so we're back in Galopolis, where we last came, and there is an armor shop around here. That'll be good for Serena, to be honest. Wow, I have a lot of money, actually. I didn't realize I had that much. I can actually... I can go all out now. I'll buy that for Serena. I'll equip that. Uh, I could buy that for myself, but it's not going to make a huge difference. That won't make a huge difference either. The bunny ears, that'll make a huge difference for her. Alright, nice. She's equipped with that. She, oh, she should equip with that, too. I'm really giving uh, Serena a lot of good uh, good outfits to wear. The dancer's costume. That's a little out of my price range. That would make me a lot tougher. That would make Sylvando a lot tougher. That would be good for Veronica, but it's not really worth it for me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the leather cape. Or should I get this? I think I'm gonna get the leather, leather cape for Silvando. Maybe I should sell some stuff. Oh, a thorn whip. I don't need that. Oh, there's only one of these in the entire game? Can't sell that then. Yeah, I'll sell the divine dagger. I don't care about the dagger. The hairband, I'll sell that. Oh, bronze lance, do I, do I need that? Oh, there's only one of these in the game, too. Yeah, and there's only one of these in the game, too, so I can't, I can't sell that stuff. It's, it's, it's rare. I'm such a hoarder, I can't get rid of anything. Can't, you can't sell the Trodian togs. Okay, I'm at, a, I'm at a loss for what I should sell. The Iron Broadsword. Maybe I should sell that. Oh, Chainmail. Okay, so... Let's see. That would actually be really good for me. And we don't have anything better than that. So Vando, there's not much he has. And of course, I can't get rid of the baby boar outfit. She has to keep wearing this. And I've got all the good rings. So I could buy this bronze armor, which would make me stronger, but it's not. there's no reason I'd do anyway. That could be good for Silvando, actually. I'll get that for him. Silver platter. It's a, it's a plate and he's using it as a shield. Okay, good. Good plan. Hello. Some creatures... Oh, you told me this already. Oh, hello there. Handsome, wow. 
Oh, is this really happening? Wait, is this for real? She's actually... What? Well, I guess I can't keep her waiting. Hello. Oh, she's making everybody else stay outside. Uh, hey. Well, Veronica and Serena look really pissed off at me. Off you go, Mr. Luminary. Tisky lot all the same. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my gosh, they know they know what I'm up to now. Wait, Eric's in trouble and I'm doing this right now? What? Why? Eric, Eric is kidnapped. Okay, okay. It's fine, it'll be quick. Alright, we'll, we'll just get this over with and then we'll go back to saving him. Puff puff. What? Okay, that's a little weird. That's her father. Oh my goodness. Why are you staring at the wall? Don't you be giving my girl any funny ideas. She's already got enough of her own already. Well, how was it? Well, let's just get out of here. She's actually asking me how it was. Alright, we're gonna zoom back over to Gondolia, because I think that we're tough enough to defeat Jasper now, at this point. We're gonna have to sneak over there and not get caught by the guards. Should be easy, hopefully. I need to get a better sword. This old bronze sword, is, I've been using this for so many bosses so far. We'll use it for one more, though. We have to use our wits to defeat Jasper, because he's tough. He's a tough boss. He's, he's allowed to go twice in a row. That's his thing. And there's guards all over the town. Alright, we, we've already seen this. I'm just gonna skip over it. Alright, I know exactly where to, where to go. Nope. Oh. <laughs> His nearsightedness is gonna get the better the better of him. See, look, he doesn't even care. Oh, hey. Oh, he knew the whole time that I wasn't normal? There was some special destiny waiting for me. Well, they didn't see that at all. Completely missed me. Ah, he's not gonna let me ride on his boat anymore. Crap, crap. Gotta run, gotta run. Check, 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 check. No! Enemy blocks away. They're hurting us. Rise again. Damn. Flee, come on, let's flee.
Oh, they caught us again. Oh, she blocked it. We gotta keep running. I don't want to waste any magic. Well, he's doing that anyway. Keep blocking the way. Fine. All right, we're, we're, we're safe here. Yikes. We're gonna head back in. Okay, so we gotta get sneak in without getting caught. I have to hide here around the corner. These guards are changing spots. Just gonna run past him, and nice. He managed to make it past without getting caught. There's one coming over there around the corner. He might catch me. He passed him though. Maybe we're gonna cut through here. Okay, good. I think we're I think we're safe for now. Oh, that's that. Wait a minute, I remember that lady from the market district. She was the woman whose husband was rich, and she traveled a lot because of him. That must be her rich husband with his monocle. That's her kid. What's a dark spawn? Why is everybody afraid of it? I just don't tell me it's probably boring. I'll tell you what isn't. A secret way out of this place on the third floor. Ah, that, thanks for the tip. I'm gonna leave through that secret passageway on the top, on the third floor. Not after I get this book, though. Somewhere under the rainbow, summer day, weather. Baby lamplings. Green lampling. Oh, and then a red one is jealous, so we gobble them up. The lava lampling. The lava lampling is an evil lampling. Oh, maybe we can climb this ladder. There's a single file, and looks like there's a rope. We can use this to climb across the rooftop. Those guys don't even see me from up here. They're completely oblivious to me. All right, that's, that's great. We can sneak across. Completely undetected. He's really good at tightrope walking. Gotta say. All right, it looks like there's more stuff here. 21 gold. Medicinal herb. All right, just drop right down. There's Eric. He's tied up. I know you are scurrying around in the shadows like the rodent you are, Dark Spawn. Show yourself, or you can stay hidden and see what happens to your friend. Something tells me he's not the patient type. We better get to Eric before things turn nasty. I save Eric. Ah, there's a gondola stop off to the northwest near the contest stage. 
Let's hop on a gondola and glide on over. We mustn't keep dear Eric waiting. There, we can use that to, to get to Eric. So I'm just gonna drop down here. All right, go on through here. And we'll use this thing. Gondola. We'll, we'll use, we'll make our way over there and sneak it around from behind and save Eric that way. That's where we'll know what hit him. So let's see. Oh, there's a treasure chest there. Maybe try to get that. Oh, hey. You just fishing? Why are you... Jasper searching for a dark spawn? Why are you there? Wait, the lesson of fishing in life. Who doesn't need sleep? He's so obsessed with fishing that even though the, the town's in the chaos, he's still fishing. Wow. Hey, who's that guy? Is he drunk? Dark spawn. Oh, he's not letting me pass. Alright, so... Gotta use the medicinal herbs that we have. I'll use those to heal us up. So Vando can use one. Oh wait, Veronica needs one too. Alright, sounds good. And actually, I'm gonna give Silvando my medicinal herbs because I already have a healing spell. Transfer that to Silvando. He doesn't need it. Oh, I'll transfer a couple to Veronica too, why not? I should transfer these also to Veronica. Because she could she could use these. Why not? Alright, Veronica's all set up with these medicinal herbs. I should give Silvando a couple. Because me and, me and Serena already have healing spells. The healing duo, you know how it is. There's Jasper. That was back turned. Still you fail to find him. Imbeciles! Search again. And do not return empty-handed. Wow, he's really mean. Imbeciles, why is he calling him that? It's now or never, my loves. Time to enter from stage right and save the day. <laughs> Right behind you. So finally you scurry into the light. You rats think to gain the advantage by ambushing me while I'm unguarded. I welcome the chance to tear you apart with my own hands, Dark Sport. Time for a fight. Jasper draws near. Now as you can see he's holding two swords, which means he's a dual sword wielder. Prepare yourself for a thrashing, you scheming snake. Look little Veronica in the corner. Oh. Actually, I should probably make... Make Sylvando listen to my orders. And Serena should also follow orders. Alright, so... Let's do this. I'm gonna sap him. Sap his power, please work, please work. Yes. You are nothing. <gasps> he just killed her in one hit. I can't believe he just did that. What am I gonna do, buff? Who should I? Maybe herself. That'd be a good idea. All right, we gotta do something now. We gotta oomph the luminary. Yes, forty-nine. Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay, we gotta do something now. We gotta accelerate, maybe, or accelerate the luminary. And I'll oomph the Luminary also, so he'll be super strong. 
And now we're gonna use Flame Slash. 55, nice. Oh, she's, she's prevented from casting spells. Damn. Devil's Delight. Can't use any spells. Ah, oh, I forgot he had that spell. Maybe she should defend. What pet powers do we have? What should we do? Defense, right? Anyone foolish enough to attack Savano to be paralyzed. And this one increases our defensive magical mending by quite a bit. Let's do it. The paralysis seems like it seems like something you would want, but he's still fuddled. Alright, so now he does not. He can use a strong medicine on the luminary. I'm coming, darling. Nice, 60. Oh, it barely did anything. Forty-one. Heal her. And Fuddle's still working on her, which means I have to use... Might as well just attack him. Take some magic back. Okay, okay, let's see what's going on. What do we do now? She will probably be able to use uh, her spell again next match. Know your place. <laughs> I should have I should have healed. Please work, please work. Damn it. Damn. Heal yourself. Let's see, maybe I can accelerate him. Try that. Yikes. Okay. Can't cast spells. Try healing him. Alright, I can't cast spells still. He blocked it! Might as well just kill me now so I can move on. Yeah, might as well. Okay. Let's go one more time. One more time, we'll give it another go. Yeah, I'll lose 24 gold. I don't care about that. You keep your progress, at least. Well, Eric in the corner, which is ironic, because he's the one who's missing. Protect his poor lost sheep. I thought, she I thought she said it was a dark spawn. Didn't she say that? Alright, we're gonna have to move on over here. Through the secret passageway on the top of the roof. Hopefully I should give give in. Veronica is in trouble though. She gets she, she keeps getting killed by him. I gotta buff her or something.
are moving on. Let's keep going. Just gonna do some tightrope walking. Really hope I don't lose again. He's a tough boss. It's not. He's, he's not easy. You know. He's he's a very tough boss. It's unfair that he can only, he can fight twice in a row. Meanwhile, I can only do it once in a row. But then again, that is what happens when you have two swords, because I can eventually get two swords. There is that perk, and it's really cool having dual, dual wielding. This is the first game to have dual wielding in the series. It's really awesome. But yeah, right now we have a sword and a shield, and that's it. Oh, that's good physics. Okay. Are we all ready to go? Looks like it. He has to be able to get something. Maybe I can use a... Strength ring. The gold ring. Plus three. Yeah, I'll give it to Veronica. She, she needs it more, I think. Let's go. And I'm just gonna skip this because we've already seen it. Alright, all right, Jasper, you're going down this time. This is ridiculous. Okay, she's up there again. Sap him again. Please work. Yes. Abilities, flame slash. Do not hit Veronica. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. I'm trying to hurt Serena. I should really use oomph on him. Nice, nice. So heal yourself now. Here to help herself. <laughs> All right. Okay, he needs to oomph me again. Know your place. I need to buff Veronica because she's in trouble. And now Veronica has already sapped him, which means. I could reduce his agility, I could crack, I could bang, I could sizz, frizz, dedazzle. Hmm, let me think what I should do. I think I should... Crack. That wasn't too bad. Alright, oomphed already, I should accelerate everyone. Yeah, I got him with that flame slash. Okay, so I accelerated him. I should, uh... I should buff everyone. <laughs> Barely did anything. Okay, who got fizzled? I got fizzled, Silvano got fizzled, and we are the two guys who don't even use spells that much. Man, I don't need to, I don't need to use spells on you. Or right, who's next, Veronica? Yeah, she's gonna use. She's gonna. She's gonna kick your ass now. Okay, crack time. I think. Actually, wait. Haha, <laughs> magic barrier. And it's time for her to heal the luminary. Look how much buffing we got going on. I thought we had a magic barrier! Alright, fine. You wanna fight? Alright, Veronica, you can give Serena... Actually, she, he could do something. She could do something else. Uh, 
She could decelerate him. Please work, please work. Ah, damn. He's fuddled. Bell, please use something that'll work. Sap him. Please work, please work. Yes. She oomph myself. Oh, he can't he can't do anything right now. Know your place. You should use crack, I think. Might as well. I just gotta beat him as quickly as possible. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Well, it's not like we were even gonna, gonna spe use spells anyway. It's not like it matters. Alright, I'll heal myself. And she will use a strong medicine on the luminary. We're not done yet. <laughs> <Die. laughs> and she'll use another strong medicine on him because she can. We're not done yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I blocked one of them. Can we use the pet power? Yes, we can use the pet power. All right, let's do this. Critical attack is gonna go up now. Ah, that's so cute. She's staying on top of his back. Our critical attack. Let's do this. Oh, that wasn't a crit. I thought we were supposed to get critical attack. Oh no. Oh well, that didn't do much. Oh, that was that was good. I beat him, yes! Jasper's defeated, and the only casualty was Serena. <laughs> okay. The great Silvando grows even greater. Silvando did pretty well. Beat Jasper. Second try. Brought to my knees by you vermin. Ugh, how could this happen? Oh, oh Eric, are you all right? Here, let me untie you. Oh, now we're surrounded again. What devilry is this, Darkspawn? By what trickery did you manage to overcome Sir Jasper? <laughs> it matters not. You have had your fun. Now accept your fate and give yourselves. <laughs> Hmm. All right, this is gonna seem crazy, but just trust me, okay? Geronimo! <laughs> True to form, the rats leap from the sinking ship. So much for your faithful friends, Darkspawn. Now, this ridiculous farce has gone on long enough. All that remains is for you to choose how it ends. Surrender to me, or entrust your fate to the sharks that circle beneath. Well, which will it be? Oh. 
Sir Jasper, look! Hmm? It's... It's a ship. That's Silvano's boat. Entrance, huh? Introducing the Salty Stallion, the finest ship to ever sashay across the seas. The finest ship, the Salty Stallion, that's Silvando's ship. Dave, be a darling and pull over to the quayside so my friends can hop on, will you? Right you are, Silva. All aboard! <laughs> Time to jump on. Oh, they'll. <laughs> a few of them fell down into the water. Well, we managed to escape Jasper onto Savannah's boat. Ciao for now, Jasper, darling. Bet you didn't see that ending coming. Ooh, I do love a twist. I was lucky. What are your orders, sir? They're getting away. They will not get far. Made it, and by the skin of our teeth, we owe you one. So yeah, he definitely saved us there. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, darling. Dave is the one you need to thank. It's his steady hand on the helm that steered us out of the jaws of danger. Dave, <laughs> stop it, Silva. I'm just doing my job. No need to. Oh, blimey, what the excess? Oh, blimey, <laughs> the Dragon Quest, uh... Oh, what is that? Like a giant octopus. Huh? Oh, my goodness. It's disgusting. <laughs> this does not look good. Oh, Jasper's probably laughing at himself there. <laughs> I told you you would not get far. Enjoy your journey to the ocean floor. Now, my dear Tentacular, welcome your new friends to the loving embrace of the deep. Tentacular, that's Jasper's friend? Crikey, here he comes. Oh, I'm too young and beautiful to die. <laughs> What happened? What's that noise? Oh, there's other ships. They're helping us. Those are Gondolian merchant ships. What are they? Fire! Aye, aye. Oh, they're helping us out. They're fighting the tentacular. So I guess he doesn't like cannons. Look, they scared it off. The noise of the cannons frightened it away. <sighs> hi, hey, hi. <laughs> hi. Is safe now. See, bene, bene. That monster always he is harassing the ships in this area. Molto irritante. Is it Doji Rotondo? He's uh, helping us out now. <laughs> hey, it's me, Placido. Listen, I can speak now. I have back my voice again. Oh, so he told Doji Rotondo about us, and that that's why he's helping us. The boy, he tell me everything. He tell me it's you who cure him. And also, he convinced me that you are no dark spawn. That is no you who curse him in this way. He explained everything to me. Scusa, Amici. I have done to you a great disservice. 
Some days ago, I play outside the town, and I observe Sir Jasper talking to the monster. He's scary, so I make a little scream. He hears me, and curses my voice so I cannot speak about what I see. It was horrible. It was Jasper who did it. So I learn that the one they call the Darkstone save my boy, and the noble knights of Eliodor, they consort with the monsters. And the knights of Eliodor are really up to no good. What does it all mean? I cannot understand. But I know that you are an hero, and an hero must escape to fight another day, see? Darkspawn! <sighs> Hear me. Today, you were lucky. But your luck will run out. And when it does, I will be there. If you're wise, you will live in fear of that day. Things won't be easy for you now. You defied the Heliodorians, and they don't like that. Don't let them grind you down, you hear? Well, that was a nice ending. We managed to escape. And we defeated Jasper. That's great. We live to see another sunrise. We're blessed. Blessed, I tell you. <laughs> oh, Dave, I forgot to ask. Have you heard any little birdies chirping about a merchant buying something called the Rainbow over in Galopolis? How does it happen, Silver? Word on the grapevine is the fellow what bought it headed over Zvardrust way. Zvardrust. This really isn't just a game to you, huh? <laughs> Friends, sheepmates, amigos, Zvardrust and the rainbow await. Onward, forward, northeastward, the Stani beckon. Oh, well, this is such an epic scene right here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the strange structure in the celestial sands. Oh, I wanted to read that. That was probably interesting. Is there anywhere to read these, like, little hints and stuff? So now we are opening up the world. So, let me show you something. If you zoom in. Not zoom. This world is now open. Before it was somewhat linear, but now we can pretty much choose our our adventure but we need to go to Zvardras because that's where the rainbow is you'll see that after that you can kind of choose where to go from here it's a very well designed world if i'm being honest so we don't want to go back to gondolia and there are random encounters now when you're on the sea when you're on the high seas there's a volcano uh yeah it looks like we should go around here Oh, we can speed up. Oh, some Drake slimes. I wonder, does Dragon Slash work on these guys? Alright, let's try let's try Dragon Slash. Uh, I guess I'll just have her defend. I love his little scream when he attacks. Alright, Drake Dragon Slash one more time. When you start fighting real dragons in this game, the Dragon Slash will really come in handy. We did it, darlings! Alright, we'll he do handy heal all. 
Is this where I need to go? Oh, this is really far away. Wow. I wish you head over to Zvardros. I would love to stop by a bunch of places, but I kind of want to just get on with the story. Of course, there's lots of monsters are going to attack us. Oh, Merman. Sapping me. Alright, he's dead. We're almost there. Oh, I wonder where that light beacon is. Hmm, maybe there's some story reason it's there. Who knows? Everything in this game has a purpose, and you, you see something that doesn't make sense, and you come back and you realize, oh, that's why that was there. You'll, you'll realize it. The story is really well designed for this world. The world and the story intermingle so well. It feels like it's all meant to be together, you know, pieced together and everything. Alright, here we go. Zvardrust region. Oh, there's a short and in a little farther away. So, a little bit of trivia. Zvardrust is where Hendrik is from. Did you want to talk to me? Mr. Dave's... Mr. Dave, I guess. So that the merchant who bought the rainbow went to Zvardrust. Oh, hello, Silvando. Hey, honey. Speak to as many local people as you can. That's the thing about Dragon Quest. You always speak to local people to see hints about where to go. Hello. All right, moving onwards. The warriors rest in. Maybe somebody there has it. Hello, cow. See what kind of weather we can look forward to. So, we got clear skies for a while, and then it might rain soon. This must be the warriors rest in. Watch, that's just a windmill. Let's go inside the windmill. Oh, I can't go in there. Thought I could go in. These guys have a bit of a pest problem outside of their their place. I could go for a rest. Old Kingdom is Vardrust. So it's yeah, it's big. Not really. Okay. Hi, dog. Oh, you can you can actually pet the dog this time. Couldn't do that before. So why can't you pet cats in this game? Do they have something against cats? Oh, there's a quest here. Fields are once part of a great kingdom. It says Var is Vardos was also destroyed. Some remnants, the souls of those who slain, are still there. Oh, they become monster dead knots. There's undead people there. So he wants me to kill all of his old friends. Care prayer is what they need to be purified by. Oh, my blonde hair companion. You mean her? Alright. I accept your request. Zvardrust was founded by Drustin, the warrior king. It's also where Sir Hendrik was born. Quite a pedigree, which makes it even sadder that those monsters destroyed. Sir... Where Sir Drustin was born. The, the warrior king. Oh, maybe we'll find out more about him later. Oh, hello there. It's a green tockle. Uh, Mr. Luminary found the password now, not two seconds before you appeared. Goes to show you an timid tockle like my, me can be of use now. Let me share it with you. Now I can visit Erdrich's future home in, via the Altar of Salvation. What's Erdrich's future home? There are two more- there are more tacos out there. Well, 
Goodbye, thanks for the password. Oh, hello there. We're on Octagonia, your dad's fighting in the tournament. Where's Octagonia? It's to the north. So Octagonia is to the north. The Warrior's Rest. Yeah, I am a little bit curious why it's called the Warrior's Rest. It's named in honor of Dustin, the Warrior King. A great man who fought alongside the Luminary back in the Age of Heroes. So Drustin founded Zvar's Drust. Okay. So so he was one of the Luminary's companions. Drustin. That's that's really cool. Zvar Drust of Ruined Realm. Let's read a little more about this history. The Lost Kingdom was ruled by the young King Arnaut, a man so brave and noble that his subjects called him the Golden Lion. He formed an order of knights, paragons of strength and skill to a man to protect his cities and borders. The monster destroyed. Oh wow, so his Zavardus was destroyed. Closest town is many miles away. I suggest you rest at the inn here and say a few prayers before continuing your journey. Oh, I can save here. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Let's uh, let's look around the end a little more. Explore a bit. Oh, hello there. Ardras, the purple orb's protection. The purple orb's protection. What's a purple orb? That purple orb still, it's mentions is still around here somewhere. What's a, I wonder what a purple orb is. That's very interesting. Oh, hello there. She must be a student of some sort. Maybe I could help her out with her studying. There's ruins, there's a red door with a strange symbol on it. The magic key. Where can you find this key? How should I know? She doesn't know where the key is. Make steel broadswords, sword steels, steel shields, and steel helmets. Wow, that's a lot of good stuff, actually. I probably can make. I could probably hit the hit the, you know, the mill. Her husband came here on a holiday, and he ran off. Octagoning to see the mass martial arts tournament. Give him a beating himself. <laughs> she really wants to beat up her husband. Okay, so I, we've learned a lot of information from the people here. It was pretty. It was good talking to people. A lot of lore and information we learned. Maybe I'll hang out with her later on. So we should head over to Octagonia. They kept talking about it. The girl was talking about it. Let's ring up our steed. All right, so Octagonia should be Thunderstall region ruins Thunderstall region. Ah, uh, it can't be viewed yet. Let's see. I guess we gotta go. Along the, the path. There's not much else we can do. Oh man, these saber tigers are tough. Oh, hello there. He came to Zvardras because there was some sort of legendary treasure. There's nothing there. Octagonia's Mass Martial Arts Tournament. The prizes this year are meant to be incredible. I could go for some incredible prizes. Indeed, I can go for some incredible prizes. So, let's continue onwards here to Dundrasil region. Hmm. 
There's a lot of places to explore, but the Undersoul is where the Luminary is born. That's, this is his homeland. Octagonia is up there, and there's the ruins of the Undersoul down there. Let's stop by the Octagonia for now. I don't really want to visit bad memories at the moment. There's nothing at, at Dundrasil for me right now, is there? There's a little taco right there. And there's some That's an enemy. I know that's an enemy. I'm not stupid. Or no, it's not actually an enemy. I thought I thought that was one of those cacti uh, cactus balls. There's a lot of baddies here. This would be Octagonia. Yeah, we want to go through here now. Oh wow, look at that. It's huge. There's a lot of baddies out here. Pink, pink rabbits. Bolting from battle. And the circle's red, there means there's no escape. Wow. It's not bad. Hey, that's a statue of Hendrick, right? Yeah, that, that is Hendrick. The guy who's chasing after us. Fans of Hendrick, huh? I hate this place already. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, handsome. Y'all here to take part in the tournament? Oh, hello there. I like her accent. It's not very medieval or European. You sure ought to. The masked martial arts meet is where all the biggest fighters make their names. Really? <laughs> What's it say? Show the world what you've got in the greatest fighting contest anywhere in Erdria. Awesome prizes available. A tournament, eh? I thought she was going to invite you to a boring old dance or something. I wonder what the masks are for. The masks. What's that at the bottom? All bouts to be held in the rooftop arena. I suppose that must be on top of the big building over there. The rooftop arena is where the fights happen. Well then, there's a lot going on here. Hello there. <laughs> the registration counter. Under the statue of Sir Hendrick. They have a huge statue of Hendrick here for some reason. I guess he must have fought a while ago. So anyway, let's go save. What's going on here? I thought this was the church. Oh no, wait. This is the church. Alright, we'll be saving here. Over 10 hours so far, playtime. Not too much longer to go. So anyway, that was a good, that was a good, some good progress today. I think we'll end today's episode here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time when we continue investigating Octagonia and see what else is going on here.